due to the increase in the network transactions in the modern era, there are often cases when we face some problems regarding network issues. But are they exactly network issues or is somebody spying on us? Well, such cases are regarded as network sniffing cases. But how exactly a hacker hack into a network system? Well, for today's topic, we'll understand the same. Hi guys and welcome to yet another interesting video by Simply Learn. If you love watching tech videos, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update from us. For today's agenda, we'll understand what exactly is network sniffing. Then see some tools that are used for network sniffing purpose. And lastly, we'll understand what exactly is the Wireshark tool. Let's take a look at network sniffing. To access the network related information between devices to gain profit or use the hacked data for illegal purpose is known as network sniffing. This is a process where a hacker or a malicious programmer spy into the network devices of our system. They can access different websites that we visit often or see our network habits. Let's take a look at different tools that are suitable for sniffing purpose. Network sniffing tools are softwares that are available on the internet that can be used to sniff into the network. Let's take a look at some of the famous network tools. First one is AWIC. This is a networking sniffing tool which has a specialization in intelligent analysis for network packets. Next is Wireshark. This software tool is best to look into protocol related data packets that are often transmitted over the network. And lastly, we have SolarWind Network Packet Sniffer, where the performance of this sniffing tool is best where the performance management is to be looked into. Let's take a look at the Wireshark Sniffing Tool. This is an open source network sniffing software, which is specifically designed to attack data packets during the transmission over the network. This type of software uses different color combinations to represent different packets and protocols. Let's take a look at some of the uses for the sniffing software. The first use is it is used to analyze network packets, whereas it can also be used to troubleshoot different network issues which are often used by different engineers to test whether the software or a network device is susceptible to an attack. And lastly, it is also used to check malicious and hacking possibilities on the network. Now that we are completed with the briefing for the software that is known as Wireshark, let's take a look at the actual demo how exactly network sniffing is done. You can directly access the Wireshark software website where you can find the download option and download the most suitable version for your laptop or computer device. After downloading the software, when you install it, you will get something like this. As we can see, these connections are the connections that are connected to my laptop right now. And the difference in the graph that we can see over here represent the traffic on the network that is present. To much better understand what exactly is going on the network, we can access one of them. Let's access the Wi-Fi network on my laptop. After accessing the network, we can see some packet settings like this. These represents the packet transaction that has been made on my network through the internet. And this is how a hacker or a cyber criminal knows how exactly we use our network services. This part of the Wireshark represents different detailed information about the transaction that has been made. And the last section represents some raw data or garbage data. How exactly a hacker use all this jumbled data and hack into a system? Well, to clarify this, there's an option that can be used that is known as display filter on the Wireshark software. If you want to search for a specific protocol, for example, TCP, 
we can write TCP in the search filter and search. And now as we can see, we only get the protocols that are related to TCP. This is how we can differentiate different protocols and access some of them to gain knowledge about what exactly is going on in the network. Let's try accessing some other protocol now. For example, DNS. And as we can see, only the protocol and the data packet that is related to DNS protocol is visible to us. To further enhance the display filter, let's try accessing a different page on the web browser. For example, simplylearn.com. When we access the Simply Learn website, we can see the professional courses that are available. But let's take a look at the changes that has been made on the Wireshark. To know this, let's write TCP and a keyword included contains. And one more thing to include over here is during the display filter, if you write something that is related to the software, it will represent in a green color like this. But if you write some error related keywords like this, it will represent in the red. Let's continue with the search setting. Including the contains keyword and writing, simply learn and entering. Now, as we can see, these two related data packets represent the Simply Learn website that we accessed just now, where the source destination IP address represents my system address, whereas the destination that is 13.224.21.74 represent the Simply Learn's IP address. Let's take a look. And in the garbage area or the raw data, we can take a look Simply Learn website. To see some more details regarding the same, you can access the transport layer security and the transmission control protocol where we can see the source port, the destination port which is always 443 as well as the flag and the timestamp for the same. This is how hackers get the data about the network settings. But if we want to search for more data related to Simply Learn website that we visited just now, there's an another filter that we can use. For example, using ip.addr space equal equal and writing the IP address for the website Simply Learn, that is 13.224.21.74. And when we press enter, we get all the related data for the Simply Learn website. And this is how we can see the related data. To much further enhance our display settings, let's try in another example. Access your internet browser and access some other website. For example, dot, for example the state university and access the Allahabad State University and some other part in it, for example, the University State PDF. Let's see the changes in our Wireshark settings and try using HTTP. When we write this, we get the data that is related to the HTTP, but what is the use for the same? When you access this and right click on the same, and choose the option follow and HTTP stream and over here we can take a look at the host that is the website that we just visited. Now imagine if we were a hacker and we knew all this we can access any website that our user visited and we can hack into his system through the website. Guys, but the point that has to be noted over here is if we use the network sniffing tool, Wireshark or some other tool that is available on the internet for research purpose or experimental use, that's fine. But we shouldn't use all these softwares for any malicious activity because that is illegal. Now, 
Some of the options that we can see are the red box. This action is used if we want to stop the traffic connection. That means if we press this option and clear this and press enter, this shows that the network settings has stopped receiving any traffic that is available on the network. But if we want to access them again, we can choose this blue fan option, continue without saving and the software again start recording the websites or the data packets that are available on the network. Now let's take a look at an example. As we all know, we often visit different websites and there are some cases we often see when the Chrome represent a non-secure option. That represents that the website is unprotected against network attack for example, we can access an experimental website. This is a website that allows us to access the non-secure part of a website. If we write for username as admin1213 and for password as simply learn. and login. As this is an experimental website, it says it's sorry and the login has failed. Let's see the changes in a Wireshark software. Now, as we already did earlier, if we want to access a specific website, we should write TCP contains and the keyword of the website that was admin. Through this, we can see this was the website that we visited just now. But if we want to access the actual important data, that was the password that we typed, we can use this option. And over here, we can see the simply learn, which was encrypted earlier in the website. This is how a hacker or a cyber criminal use different sniffing softwares and gain data about different users. And with this, we have reached the end of the session. If you have any questions regarding the topic, you can ask them in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.